part has ended, and now comes the, the late afternoon, evenings entertainment. But before we, we begin, I'm going to hand it off to Rajesh, um, who has some announcements. lasted more than 30 seconds. Usually it lasts only 30 seconds. They said, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you doing? You doing fine. And that is it. I don't know what to say. So then I was scratching my head and said, well, what would I say? So I said, okay, here is what you can do. You can always say nice things to people. So then I went on the website and I said, well, there's a lot of nice things here, by the way. Uh, all the awards people have won. And you know, that's one useless space. We have a page, faculty awards, student awards, and so on. That page should not exist because it goes to stale as soon as it is written. There is so many awards, and they're always getting more and more. So I wanted to just recognize a few of them. <clears throat> um, we have 50 faculty members. Our, our latest faculty edition. Christina Rado actually is here. She flew in for us. Right? All, all places from Atlanta. So, so welcome. And the fact I remember the many awards. We have Fallows, we have Fallows, Fallow by to Believe, which is one society. We have nine of those. Uh, AC Fallows. Of the ten of those, and what happened? <laughs> <laughs> what is all the people? <laughs> <laughs> um, ACM actually has this. Is that better? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, so um, ACM actually has it on on a uh, embargo. So. Between us, nobody else should know. This is a family secret. Um, we have three new ASIM fellows who will be announced next year, next week. Uh, Amin Wadat, Amin is not here today. Dean Tolson, right in the back there. And Keith Marzullo, who is uh, somewhere in Washington. Adding on. I mean, you know, I don't, we have faculty, you know, by the time we count, we some fellows and, and I took really fellows. We look like a whole bunch of jolly fellows. Um, uh, is Andrew Kong here? Andrew Kong. He just received a Richard Newton Impact Award last uh, week, like two weeks ago. And this is an award that is given for somebody who does such a good piece of research that other people want to use it. In fact, they use it so much that it becomes a practice. And it happens in a very short time. And Andrew Kong, won that award. Jeff Holker, yeah, uh, received a Distinguished Teaching Award by the Academy Senate. That's a big deal, you know why? Because this university has many professors, I don't know how many, maybe a couple thousand. And then they pick a handful, more than, not more than fingers on the hand. And Jeff won that award. Search here. Now, we have only computer scientists in the top 50 alternate rock being in the Netherlands. <laughs> Talk about an award. Yeah. That's, that's colorful. Um, let's see. We have about 300 graduate students and about 1,100 undergraduates, which is increasing quite a bit. And <clears throat> I'm beginning to see a lot of awards where undergraduates are also part of it. We received uh, Todor Molloy, who um, was a finalist for CRA Outstanding Researcher Award. And uh, right behind that, Lena Gilpin, 
was an honorable mention, but she did get an NSF fellow. Um, we had another, NS, two more NSF fellows, Sarah Esper, um, uh, Jennifer Tresso, Jason Obert, uh, David Cash, who is now, um, I think, at uh, Rutgers, uh, received two best papers in Europe in 2010-2011. Why is it a big deal? This has happened only once in 30 years. Same person receiving two best papers in the same same place. Um, Boris Babenko, Babenko, is a good fellow. And the list goes on. But let me say a few more. It's got test of time. You, you get one, you know, it's like a lifetime achievement. You're done. And then you go retire. Our dean doesn't done one twice. The only two other faculty members who have done that uh, are two other researchers. So, the, is uh, Victor Miano, he received Parts Test of Time Award. You know, you write papers and you expect them to last longer than the next review cycle. Or, your, your, or maybe a decade. Test of Time, these are papers that last forever. Um, we had a HPCA Best Paper Award by Jeff Brown, Leo Porter, and again, Dean Tilson Surprise. So I actually could go on, and, and there's another list of this, but you know, I just wanted to tell you that this is a family you want to be part of. And it gives me something to say. Otherwise, I'll be speechless. Let me say one more thing. <clears throat> I actually got a note only 10 minutes ago. And uh, so I wanted to share this note. I will not tell you the name of the person because I have to first thank him. Our alumni are doing well because our industry is doing well. You know, the group on stock is down. But, you know, you've got Facebook coming up. And Google is still is high, and Amazon is doing well, Kindle is doing well. So our very young alumni actually are, are so flush with ideas that they want to help us. And um, one of those alumni came to us and said, I really want to do something for the department. I said, well, let's create a whole bunch of research labs and undergraduate project labs and reconfigure the building. Ten minutes ago, he signed an agreement for actually funding the study and architectural design to do that. That's, that's like a kitchen remodeling on steroids. So, so we are pretty lucky with that kind of support we're getting. And that basically, I don't know why this, but I'm so happy to see you. And um, I'll invite you, Don to say a few words. You know, Don, as you know, is management services officer. And uh, we actually have, I don't know who does the HR now, but you know, we are a family, so we don't have MSOs, we have, we have Dawn. I mean, I could just call him Barry. So he's gonna come and tell us. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I talk to him also. Uh, Dawn. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Dawn here. <laughs> I actually woke up around 4.30 this morning trying to uh, start to think of things, and I went ahead and wrote it down. Normally, I just kind of go off the cuff, but not in this case. There are too many people to acknowledge. Got to take glasses off so I can read it. And, you know, frankly, I'd like to, to take a moment to reflect on this calendar year and thank the staff for their extraordinary effort this year. You know, we've lost three staff that have moved on to greener fields, Samira, Robin, and Bill. But we didn't lose anyone to layoffs. We uh, were being conservative and creative in terms of our budgets and flexible enough to absorb all the budget cuts. So we were able to avoid layoffs, which other departments you know, did not have to deal with. And first, I'd like to thank the fiscal HR team. Tim is managed with reduced staff by the use of temp services and has brought us wonderful people like Laura, who's with us, and Angela and Noel, who have been with us, and technically, Cheryl, who's back with us. And speaking of Cheryl, thanks for coming back as strong as ever. And to Yuka and David, who have done a yeoman's job with the overall increase in fiscal activity and filling in while we were so shorthanded. And also to Kim, who has been stellar in filling in for Kathy Johns while keeping her normal activities. 
to all of you, I say thank you very much. To the student affairs staff who also performed beyond the norm in exemplary fashion, you know, with the explosion in enrollment, applications, and just general traffic, these people have done a fantastic job. And then to that, the loss of Samira, they also went above and beyond. You know, to Pat, you know, having to find more and larger rooms and keeping them, you know, from being taken by other departments and all the scheduling that she's done. You know, to Viera for handling, you know, tutors and meeting the needs of faculty. To Nadine for managing the master's process and admissions, which is on track to surpass last year's numbers. And to Julie for covering a lot of things that Samira did, as well as her work with the grad students. And this is on top of, you know, they're managing all the students and everything else that's part of their normal job. And also... Uh, and uh, a thank you for Jessica as a student for pitching in so strongly for supporting the group and all this stuff that she's done to keep this place in place. And to our faculty assistants and their supervisor, Catherine, you know, another good year. Catherine has a heck of a job keeping faculty on track for reviews. You know, this mostly entails... Chasing, you know, chasing all the faculty down for paperwork and signatures and ballots, and it's pretty exhausting. And to Joyce and Jennifer, who have given us this great artwork that's done for the department, and newsletters and posters, you know, that other departments are envious of, along with, you know, keeping, you know, with working with highly demanding faculty such as the chair, CISNET, and CNS. And to Virginia, who's also managing, you know, keeping everybody reimbursed for their expenses on a timely basis, as well as supporting a strong group, and you, Ross. <laughs> and, and to Sheila for covering everything else under the sun. And to everybody in CSE Help, who are now going to a new adventure that Student Affairs has just gone through. Sorry, guys. You, know, you, you guys keep this place alive and running. You know, Glenn with his programming, Peter with keeping things plugged in and running, Steve and Ferdy for maintaining the high levels of service that they provide, and Dave for just keeping this place put together. I mean that literally. And, you know, even to our students, we've got, you know, Liz and Min up on the faculty side, we've got Paige and Alex on the fiscal side, we've got Stacy, Sarah, and Susan, you know, down at Student Affairs. Your help is invaluable. And without... All of you, this place would be a disaster. And I really appreciate everything that you've done. I appreciate the work. I appreciate this rejection of seeing the family. But it's more than that. It's a community. It's people all working together, people keeping things going. And I just appreciate it. It's, that's the reason why I come in on a daily basis. Thank you all very, very much. Thanks a lot, Don. Okay, um, and now, uh, as a family, as a community, um, we're all going to thank each other by making fun of each other. <laughs> and uh, we'll start with the, we're going to have the three skits, and we'll start with the student skits, and then we'll do the stab skit, and end with the faculty skit, because, you know, we need that extra time to actually finish what it is that we're doing. <laughs> Not that we'd ever do anything at the last minute. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to hand it off to the students.